Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Marcella and I am from State Islamic University Al-Fadi Inter Lampung and in this video, I will talk about national language and language planning in sociolinguistic So, what is sociolinguistic? Sociolinguistic is the field that studies the relationship between language and society between the uses of language and the social structure in which the users of the language live. And what is the national language and language planning? Okay, a national language is the language of a political, culture, and social unit. It is generally developed and used as a symbol of national unity. It is function are to identify the nation and unit the people of the nation while the language planning or official language is a simply a language which may be used for the government business in countries which regard themselves as monolingual nation the same language serves both purpose in multilingual communities, however, a kind of permutation have been used in order to satisfy both political and social goals on the one hand. And in multilingual countries, the government often declare a particular language to be national language for political reason. The declaration may be a step in the process of asserting the nationalhood of a newly independent or established nation and the next is official status and minority language many minorities would like to gain official status for their language but the cost in terms of providing service and information in all official language are considerable and most government coin them careful okay the next is what price a national language Many countries have regarded the development of a single national language as a way of symbolizing the unity of a national. In multilingual countries, the significance of political power in the choice of national language is particularly clear. The next is what is involved in developing a code or a variety so that it is suitable for official use. Addressing this challenge involves issues relating to the form of the variety, the function itself, and the attitude people hold toward it. There is generally four interrelated steps. Okay, the first is selection. Choosing the variety or code to be the fluffed. And the second is codification. Standardizing its structure or linguistic feature. This is kind of linguistic process is sometimes called corpus planning. And next is elaboration. Extending its function for use in new domains. This involves developing the necessary linguistic resource for holdings, news, concept, and context. And the last is securing its acceptance. The status of the new variety is important, and so people attitude to the variety being the flow of it must be considered. Okay guys, that's all about national language and language planning in social linguistic. I hope you happy and enjoy watch this video and don't forget to like, share and comment this video. Okay guys, see you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.